Hey world, what's up? Welcome back to Learning Redstone. Today I'm going to be covering AND gates. An AND gate is a device that allows you to have a current going to a block, and that current cannot be activated until the other currents are switched off. So, these two currents right now are powering this one, which doesn't let the torch turn on. So, if we flick one down, nothing happens, because the torch is still being powered by that one. But if we switch this one down, then it allows this to turn on and powers the door. And if we switch one on the one again, it stops that one from being powered and turns that off. So there's a lot of thing, cool things you can do with this. One of them is creating a small combination lock, a very basic one. So you can have a wall of switches and when the certain switches are switched down, then the door can open. Or the redstone device, whatever you want to hook it up to. This is another one here. It uses uh, buttons instead of switches. So once they are pressed at the same time, the door will open and close. It's basically just the same thing hooked up to a T flip flop. And that thing on the top is just to put the current to the door so it makes it a little bit smaller. And again, this one here is exactly the same apart from uh, you, there's no redstone on top of here, so you can create a wall around this so it's all flush. And then, well, the, on this one, there is redstone torches on the top. So, exactly the same, just a little bit different here. The torch is just placed there. Nothing too different going on there. And last off here, this is just a basic a basic combination lock you can have. Uh, you could have three switches here, and when they're all switched down, the door will open. You can also put dummy switches on the side where if they switch the wrong one, you could hook it up to TNT and the wall could blow up and they wouldn't have a very good day. So again, once all these are switched down, the door will open up. This is good for an adventure map you can have when someone completes a stage, they can flick a tor they can flick a switch down, and when they create when they complete another stage, another tw uh, switch can be switched down, and then the next stage could unlock. Lots of cool things with this. So I'm going to jump over here and quickly show you how to build this one. So start off with your wall, which we're having something like this, and of course you can just use switches on this, but this one I wanted to show you the buttons because obviously that's the point of this one, that's where there's a T flip flop there. So two buttons on there, redstone torches on here, another one there, piece of dust there, repeater, no delay, block, repeater on two ticks, sorry three ticks, block, torch, torch, redstone, break a hole down there, block, repeater, Sticky piston there, block down there, and that's your T flip flop that's now set up. Place your blocks up here to travel the power over, like that, and place it down to wherever you want to make it go. And in, in this case, we're doing an iron door. So now you can put your redstone on there, and a torch there, just to make it a little bit more compact. And then you can press them, door closes door opens. So to, sh to build the other one that we have there so it's flush with the wall, I'll show you how to build that one now. So this time it's pretty much the same apart from instead of one block back from this, you just want to place two. So then you have a bit of a bigger gap here. Just build exactly the same thing as we did last time on this bit. And this time place two redstone torches or as many redstone torches you as you have buttons any more than two and it gets a little bit too fast for people to press at the same time so place down a piece of redstone there torch block and repeater on a delay of three I believe that should work and now press these at the same time would help and the door should open once we have these connected and a repeater and again, so obviously this is a little bit complicated when you implement buttons, but if you're doing this with torches, it's very simple. But I wanted to go over that it does work with buttons, so you guys can go here to have a bit more freedom with it, as buttons work a little bit better with redstone than torches do. So, if you're having a little bit of trouble uh, implementing this into anything, I came up with this, it's very simple. Uh, what it is is something that you can put into an adventure map so let's say you just come here and you need to progress to the next stage there's a button here but if you hit it 
nothing is going to happen. So it's a two player adventure map. When your friend comes through here and he presses the button on his side, when you press it at the same time it allows you to progress to the next stage. Obviously you could do this with switches but I wanted to do this with buttons so you have to go through together. The other, you have to be there at the same time so let's do this now with one person. Press and press. Nope. So then the doors open up once they're pressed at the same time and you can progress to the next stage. It's very simple. Underground here, it's a little bit messy. First button goes down here and goes into the AND gate which then goes to a T flip flop, exactly the same design as the one outside. And then the T flop, T flip flop basically just powers these and then underneath these are the doors which are just there and the same on the other side. So that's pretty much it, very simple to build, I shouldn't really need to show you guys how to build that. Lots of things you can put this into, it's very cool for combination locks and just various cool things. So that was learning redstone today guys, hope you enjoyed it, if you did remember to hit the subscribe button, like button, if you want to watch more learning redstone then click the link in the description and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.